Hi, Tiny Scholar World families. My name is Chris, and Bree, one of your teachers, asked me to make a video about what I do and who I am. My name is Chris Campbell, and I live in Tapan. Um, I grew up in Nyack, which I think is a little lower than you live, but it's kind of close. I, uh, I am an artist and a mom, and I wanted to show you my studio. I work from home, so I get to be around my kids. Um, so what I do is I make art. I make art from different things, and um, I'm guessing you make art with different things too. You probably use something like crayons, markers, clay, uh, pencils, and those are all really fun things, especially the color part of crayons. The crayons are the best. So I figured I could show you some of the stuff that I do. Um, right now I'm doing photos with a camera. Um, sometimes I take them with my, the phone, so you can do that too. I'm gonna to show you. So that's a photo, right? That's all framed and stuff. That's a photo of reflections. So reflections are kind of like if you look in a puddle of water, you can see the trees. And I think that's really neat that you can look down and up at the same time, or you can look forward and backward, kind of like in a car mirror. So um, I think that's really, really cool. And then um, what I really, really like doing is I do something called cross stitch. I'm gonna show it to you right now, right? So this is my table, right? And that's the begin. that's what I'm working on. And that's going to be a really big flower. See if I scoot back, you can see how big, right? And we're really, really, really big. Um, last year, I was really lucky, and they asked me to make one for the building in, at a in a warehouse. I'm going to show it to you. And I'm in it. So here, do you see there? And then if I zoom out, that's a that's a photo of me underneath this huge piece that was also made out of little pieces of yarn on a big piece of fabric. Um, right now I'm working on, I'm gonna zoom, maybe I take you around my studio. So that's my computer. Uh, I have a lot of fun on that. I'm gonna show this way. There, over here is my lotion because I'm washing my hands so much, they're dry, so I get on the computer. And there I drink my water, it's my water. It's my old fashioned phone because I don't like talking on the phone that much, and now I do because of my new phone. Um, and I have this new machine that I got that I'm really, really excited about. I'm gonna show you right there. And I'm gonna show you stuff I did with it later. It's called a Cricut machine. And right now, this is what I'm working on every day. Let's see if you can get all the way to the parts I'm stitching. And that is going to be the picture of a person, and that's going to be like bigger than your house probably. It's going to be over 30, it's going to be about 30 feet, which is three stories. So I work on it. It takes a long time. Um, over here, I have, ready? I'll show it to you right there. So that top one is a friend of mine's artwork, and she also works in yarn. Do you see that? It's a hockey player on an ice rink. And then she used just a stone she found and she sewed it in there. And she's one of my favorite artists. So I have her in my studio every day that I work. And I come over here and I have some silly things to realize. So that's my um, armadillo. Ooh, let's see, see, he's an armadillo. Because, um, so a family member that died he collected weird things, and this was one of the weirdest, so I took it home with me. And then this is my dragon, right? Because he's dangerous and he's magical. Those are two things I want in life. Um, and this is kind of my messy corner. So I have all things I write, more friends' artwork, lots of papers. And that's kind of a wall with different screens that I can pick from. I'm trying really hard to be neat because of this virus. I'm in the house all the time. Um, and it's kind of hard. So I kind of have corners of messes. Um, I wanted to tell you that I've been doing art since I was a kid. It was like what I was really good at. Um, but it wasn't until I was like in college that people started saying, hey, you know what? You, I think you should do something with it. But I've 
always loved drawing and I love drawing people and flowers and the sky and rainbows. I drew so many rainbows. Um, and I had some friends that liked to draw. So he would draw a lot of times. I remember they would draw something and then I would draw something over it. And we would have these big, crazy, it's kind of like letters, but we always did it with these little characters called Ziggy or characters. Oh, and here's my inspiration wall. You know, on this wall, you see that? That's all like things that inspire me. Things that like get my mind. Just I want to think about. Uh, but at your age, you can draw and you have crayons. And there's some really good crayons in there that like mark really good and strong. And um, there's art. I want to let you know that there's artists out there. So I'm called a contemporary artist. And there's contemporary artists that are doing the weirdest things with, like clay and they're just putting these mounds, like these huge mounds in the middle of the gallery. Um, there's one guy that does things with balloons. I have a friend who does like these fans and then she ties string to it that makes things on the other side of the building move. And it has to do with being moving in space. There's some really neat artwork going on right now. Um, so Sometimes art doesn't have to be done with a crayon or a pencil or marker. It actually can be outdoors and you move rocks around. Um, you tie string to things and all of a sudden, because the string is there, you move differently in the room. Like you can't go places or you have to go underneath it. And artists are thinking about that. Um, so I, what I was thinking though, I wanted to show you the last thing that I'm working on because it involves something I wanted to ask you guys. So I do this other thing. Um, because I like playing with stickers. Remember I told you about the Cricut machine? So, ready? So that's, that's, I think you can figure out that's a head, but it's made with stickers. So it's on a piece of green paper. And then I'm gonna show you this. All right. You can pull it off and then you have this and you kind of stick them on and you can make a picture. But you see this, it's like a sheet of plastic and I wanted to say, if anyone wants to do a drawing, but it has to be in one color, then I'll find my sticker paper that matches and I can see if I can run it through my machine and make you a sticker of it. So it will just turn out with like the blue crayon and the white of the paper. It probably is the easiest. Um, and then maybe your teacher can send it to me and then I make it and I send it back because we all have to be really, really careful um, and about, you know, touching things, which is so uh, different. And we're getting used to it, I think. So um, it'd be really fun if I got to meet you or hear about, see your drawings or see other stuff that you're doing. And um, if I get a sticker, that'd be really, really fun to see it one day in your world. Bye-bye.